Okay. Come on. Oh. Wait, no, don't leave me. <laughs> Okay, so it's morning. We had a really good dinner. Did we have a good dinner? That was a good dinner. Wasn't that a good dinner, dude? Yeah. Yeah, you can see what we had here. Um, yeah, this was because we didn't take pictures. We were so hungry, we just ate it. And then I realized afterwards. So this was <laughs> the restaurant we went to. And this was my uh, crispy uh, Szechuan chicken with cucumber salad. It was really tasty. It was really spicy. It was really good. And then Cupcake had, uh, what did you have? Tacos. Yeah, you had the two tacos. Chicken. Those are pretty tasty looking. Yeah, chicken yeah, and tacos. Yeah, they're all gone though. You ate all those really quickly. They are really good actually, because they had this weird um, red, like, they look like salad, but yeah. it wasn't salad. And then dude had a kid's rice bowl, right? Yeah. That was there pretty was tasty. There three things in it. Chicken, rice, and soy sauce. Yeah, and, and he ate all that up too, as you can see. And then we had some Bernays fried cheese, which you can see there, that's the orange thing. Yeah, but that was all gone too. So, yeah, dinner was really good, you can tell. <clears throat> um, but the place was packed out. Pack, pack, pack out. Um, there was a line, we had to wait in line 20 minutes at least. But totally worth it, recommend Spork! Yeah, but it's like, the, it does serve really small things, so if you're gonna go and you're hungry, you have, you would, I'd suggest getting more than one thing because the dishes are really small. Yeah, you can see the empty dishes that we left behind there. Um, yeah, that's the size of the dishes. So, anyway, really good place. Spork on. Now we're headed to uh, a tunnel. No, a tube, a cave, a hole in the ground. Yeah, something That's like made, that. That used to be beautiful. So hopefully, because we're a little late, that hopefully the tourists haven't totally taken over. It's not a weird place. It's the it's the Newberry volcanic lava tube cave thing. You'll see it if you ever look it up. It's the cave that goes with the Newberry volcanic lands. Um, but it, it's very weird. It's not like with online. The internet says it's um, if you're not here at the top of the tour hour, then you're not going to get a spot, and they just turn you away. You can't wait. You can't stop. You can't go on your own time. Which online they didn't say there was specific times for the tours, which maybe this is a new thing. Um, it's kind of sucky though, because they basically say, "Yeah, you got to leave. You can't even hang out. You got to leave." It's really odd. Um, and I talked to the guy about it for a little while. And he's, he was nice and all, but he was like, yeah, dude, that's what it's like. You go, go find something else to do and come back in an hour. I'm like, what? We can do a lot in an hour. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a different cave. There. We're going to go to Boyd Cave, which is back down a little bit and then to the right. And um, that, according to the internet, is free, open cave, do whatever you want. So we're going to go to that cave. Nick. So... We're going way out. It's like a little further deeper into the woods than where we were. And there's rodents all over the pavement in my way. Mm. Cupcake is very concerned about me squashing You them. almost squished one. It was right next to your tire. We don't even know what they are. They could be plague They're carrier. mice rats. Oh. Everywhere. They're like my squirrels. They're super cute. I saw one of their faces. It looks like a, a squirrel face, but it's like super tiny. Squash! So. We're where the internet says the cave is. But the internet also said that you can't really tell where the cave is until somebody comes out of the hole. And I can agree. It is quiet and nobody's here. Well, there's two cars here, but there's nobody here. I think that the cave is over there by that sign, but there's virtually nothing here. Oregon High Desert is just like endless and it would suck if you came out here without a car or a horse. Cause you're like, I'm gonna die out here. The dude has found the entrance, which is nondescript from there. You certainly didn't dress for caves. 
You didn't either. I don't need to. Yeah, you do. <laughs> What'd you say, dude? Really, really dark. Mm. Well, it is a cave, so what did you expect? It's a cave, of course it's pitch black. Hey, I go first. Don't talk, it's freaking me out. I can't, I, this is, okay, is this just it? No, shh, 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 shh. Come down before the bats eat you. I know, the bat poop is gone. Can I go back up now? No, come on. Come on, it's okay. This scare looks like it's about to die. It's, it's the bad one. Come on, you can do it. I don't know which way to go is the problem. There's a cave that way. There's a cave that way. Well, oh look. See that, buddy? <laughs> Give me the flashlight, you toad. What's your problem? He's cold. Dude, you have a parka on. So do you guys want to keep going? No. Yeah. Oh my Come god. Come on over We've here. We've eaten a lot of our vampire bats. It would be cool, wouldn't it? No. Jesus. <laughs> look at that. It's pretty cool back here. Okay, watch this, guys. Hey, look at me. Dude, come over here. Look at me. Hey, no, get together so I can see you. Are you guys ready? Walk away, just stay here in the same position. Real, you <laughs> all right, dude. Since there's not many people here, we should probably not go very far. Well, I think we should go to the end of this park. Let's not even go. <laughs> okay, let's go back. That's so cool, though. Yeah, let's not go. We need equipment for this stuff. We don't need equipment. This is totally, we're fine. This isn't like we're crazy people, other than you for wearing bad clothing. See, there's other people. They didn't get killed or murdered. Uh, <laughs> no. But they weren't eaten by bats. See, you guys, they, they, they look totally normal. We're not cave how far back's it go? Another half a Pretty far. Pretty far? Yeah, pretty far. Turns into just crawling space. Oh yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. You can go up to that little rock right there. Uh. See that? You go first, Cupcake. No. You get the most blood. Go forward. Those with the most blood go forward, Cupcake. That's stupid. You know, the last one would get picked on because the bat stayed behind you and then the eagle collapsed first of mine. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Look at this all craved, caved in. Mm -hmm. It's probably a bad idea that we hang out in here, huh? Probably, let's go. Alright, let's go. Give me the flashlight. Yeah, I'm going let's first. Watch Turn the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I intended. Oh, it's like metal. You see that? Oh, it's kind of like That's cool, huh? Bat egg shell? I don't know. It's like in this rock. It's a bunch of little crystallizy things. Hmm. It might be bat. The bats lay eggs? No, they don't lay eggs. No, they don't. What are the old in here? Snakes, James. <laughs> mm. Okay, now. come on. Oh. Wait, no, don't leave me. <laughs> was that cool? Yeah, that was fun. Huh? Yeah. That was Boyd Cave down there. One more 
more dangerous, but... <laughs> Dude, do you like it? Yeah, I think it would be a lot better than a lava cave. Because a lava cave is probably has, uh, they probably put lights in and a whole bunch of other stuff. This, the stairs down, it's a cave. Maybe. It's cool down there though, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that was pretty cool. It's just out in the middle of nowhere. And it looks like it's fallen in a couple of times, at least. But it goes that way for a mile. And it goes that way. I don't know how long it looks like it's caved in that way a couple of times. But that way it definitely goes. We touched somebody that said it went for like 0.7 of a mile back that way. Dutch Bros. Another one. See, it's a walk-in Dutch Bros. We haven't no walk-in Dutch Bros yet. Dude, that is the coolest one I've seen so far. That's a what? Dinosaur egg soda. They're like pink at the bottom. Yeah. And pink at the top. What's it taste like? I don't know yet. Oh, oh, god. Is that, is that good? Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, doesn't look good. Weird. Looks bad. No, it's, it's really weird. It's what you, you got a pink strawberry soda. Strawberry soda, is it good? Yeah, it's, it tastes like strawberry. That's not as good as your other ones? Uh, no, I kind of like the other ones better. Oh. So I got another cold brew but with hazelnut this time. Because the cold brews are awesome. They're better than Starbucks's. Can't even say, can't tell you. They're better. Slurpity slurp slurp, Dutch Bros. <laughs> So we went to El Super Burrito 3. Had huge reviews online, and it was right across the street from Dutch Bros. So we went in and got some food. Really good, right? That was great, huh? Yeah. Did you it like was your tacos? Really good. Did you like your taco? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got tacos, and I got like a super burrito, which was really tasty. They have like a salsa bar with cucumbers and <laughs> and so all the salsas. There was some good sauces, uh, kind of an orange sauce, was uh, spicy. Uh, there's a white sauce or like a really clearish, creamy, yellowish creamy. sauce that had nothing in it except onion and green stuff. And I tried it and my tongue disappeared because my tongue just went on fire and I could not feel it for the rest of the eating process. Yeah. Could not feel the tongue. Tongue gone. That was quite, that was probably one of the hottest things I've ever had. And I just had that much. Just not even that much. Damn it! And it was bad. Burned my tongue out. Gone. Gone! Yeah, you were complaining that it would never come back again. No, my tongue was gone. And you were wrong. It but came back. But... It came back 20 minutes later. <laughs> yeah. I highly recommend El Super Burrito Taqueria 3 in Bend. It was really tasty. It was actually good, except the sauces, the sauces are burning it all! a little bit cooler. You can hear water rushing all around us. It's actually pretty nice. You can tell. It's nice. I'm gonna go up that trail. Just up there. Was pretty cool, wasn't it, dude? Uh -huh. That was a pretty cool. I oh. caught a fly. You caught a fly? Oh, no. that, that was the best thing about the waterfall, huh? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Down on this, his, his rocky trail that that was like half like slidey, and, and I went down to go see the waterfall. Yeah, it was like it was like walking on the side of a mountain, holding on to the trees and rocks as long as you go. It was pretty rough. 
cupcake. Uh, did you like that trail? That was your favorite, wasn't it? It was good until I saw it did mouse rat. That's not even on the trail. Yeah, well, we did pass it, and I'm mad about it. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> ran over a mouse rat. It's a small, weird rodent that they have here that we've deemed mouse rat, because it looks like a small mouse that had um, some kind of offspring that has a squirrel tail. Very odd creature. And Cupcake's been squealing about me almost hitting them all the way. They're very suicidal animals, I'm just saying. But the waterfall was super cool, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice. It was pretty. Mm. Yeah, did you like the super dangerous trail? No. No, you didn't like that? No. no. That's pretty cool though. Yeah. You could just pretend you're a hobbit climbing on the side. <laughs> anyway, that was pretty cool. So we're headed back out this dirt road that's six miles and then we get back right into town. This thing is like 20 minutes from downtown Bend. It's pretty cool. You like leave like the shopping and then you go by the housing and then it's suddenly you're like in nature. Bend is a really weird spot that way. I've never really seen a town quite like it. It's pretty cool. At Dutch Bros. It's another morning at Dutch Bros. We've gone to almost every Dutch Bros in Bend. I think we missed one. Um, and then we're going to head back home. We've got a little bit of a trek. So we'll talk more after we get our Dutch Bros inside our stomachs. We got our Dutch Bros. Cupcakes looks freaking awesome. Yeah. That looks so cool. I like this one. It looks really good. Dutch Bro coolness. That's a smoothie? Uh, it's a frost. Oh, so it's cool. like sugar. Uh, it's like vanilla and then it has like raspberry. Ooh, blood. Blood, yeah. Dude, what what'd you get? An electric berry, and this is actually my favorite color. I've yeah. never been able to show people my favorite color, and now I can. Oh, wow. Well, make sure you take a picture of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I just got a coffee. Actually, I got a Golden Eagle, which is very complicated coffee. That's what I got. So, we got to find our way home, or at least find a way to the route. I we have get route gas, here. and then we'll talk more as we're driving. Well, we're on the road. Back home, we're going towards the Portland of badness. Um, so, we uh, left Bend. It's pretty good, right? Did you like Bend? Mm -hmm, it was fun. Are you sleeping? I'm tired. Are you very tired? I gotta sleep now. So, Bend was good. Um, I think we had fun. I'll let them decide if they had fun in a minute. Um, we went through the old town last night and looked around some shops and checked things out. And then we went to the um, like a shopping area that was created out of their old mill district, which we used to be the world's largest, I didn't know this, the world's largest lumber mills, two largest lumber mills back in like 1800 something. Um, mer or clo merge and then they closed and then they turned into a giant shopping area, which you can see and they have all sorts of shops. Did you have fun in Bend, Oregon? Mm -hmm. Was it cool? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Probably mining. Yeah, you think so? All right, cupcakes. Yeah. Well, uh, did you have fun? Yeah. Would you go again? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, rock mining. Rock mining. So the rock mining is a big thing, and it is probably the coolest thing we did. Obviously, the kids liked it, and it was pretty price uh, effective. Um, it's fairly cheap for two thirds of a day. It was pretty inexpensive um, and fun. So, and you could see all sorts of stuff that a lot of people that go to the state and national parks just don't see because it's private land and it's pretty cool. So uh, that was that was our excursion into Bend, Oregon. Mm -hmm.